of 100. He's rapidly scaled to the peak of his division. But last time out, he nearly stumbled. Now, Danny Garcia looks to settle any doubt. He's still the man on top. His boxing career will lightning strike in the form of an unlikely upset victory. Or will the champ remain undefeated and reass war with Danny Garcia? Whereas, you know, I was I was angry about it for a while. The winner, Ricardo Alvarez. I catch him with one shot, he goes down. Run. Big time champ. <laughs> Ready to do it. There's a lot of negative press about the matchup for August 9th with Danny Garcia. That's a real job, champ. I'm happy that they're talking about it. And I've been working full time, but. I want to be impressive. I know I can box, I know I'm not bigger than that. Time. In the fight, and that's what everybody's going to get. That's what Danny Garcia's going to get. There's not a doubt in my mind I can win the fight. The big win. Hey, that way, Danny Garcia. Not many people give him. Rob Salka, dark, blue, and gold. Both men said that he needs, he may need more, and he says, I've got to throw as many as possible to try and make a difference. Really Garcia, as we saw two counter shots. If you are, you got to be sharp ball. Going to come out of the gate, try to get him out of there in a hurry. Right. Garcia. By Garcia. You see Salka moving constantly to his left. It will keep me out of harm's way for the left hook. And he's got to have his jump over on. One thing Team Garcia told faster. You know, we see that sharpness here around. The jab of Salk, but has not been in this fight. And that's the thing. August of 2001, or the 9 11 terrorist of Chief, a mechanic. He's a fascinating guy, Rod Salk. Yeah, he's tremendous, and he's a renaissance right now, but he's going to be laying some punches. Landed by Garcia. Michelle there, less than 10 seconds. <laughs> Round. That was a great first. Jab to the body by Salka. Trying to be busy against Danny Garcia. He can also lead on his own because of his counter punching ability. So, he's a better complete fighter. And it's things to look for and last fight. Third on short stream and oh. dropped the wall. And he just got rattled there by Danny Garcia. And down goes Rob Salka. Career in April of 2012 is knocked down against Angel Rios. And Garcia slipping, uh, dropped a disputed majority to Sierra as the older brother of Mexican superstar Canelo as he's still getting rocked here with the left hook from Garcia and Garcia now smelling blood. And there's a lot of time left in this round. I see loading up everything. And a knee is taken by Sal. Garcia seeking, looking to destroy. Unloading. Sorry, even the referee Steve Will is making a face like he wants to stop this. And he may be very close to doing so, but Salka showing his grit and hard gets rocked with that left hook. Salka down, and it's over. Statement made by Danny Garden. Still a little wobbly, but he's back on his feet. Or 10 or so, or one. It would again, I believe, come from well, courtesy of a left hook that started the trouble for him, and then a straight right hand by. Garcia as he continued to assault him and Salka was just in trouble from all these power punches that one those right hands landed on the side of the head and I think affected his equilibrium the final knockdown of the fight some bravado by Salka shows his, his heart and determination but Danny Garcia has one of the better left hooks in boxing and that one landed flush and thank goodness uh, as you see him hit the canvas very hard thank goodness Rod Salka was able to get up and I threw a left hook upstairs. Yeah, boom. There it is. So it was a right hand to the body and a left hook upstairs. That's something I've been working on in camp because I know uh, guys are going to try to come and outbox me. So um, it was Garcia, just several levels above, catching him with a right hand early in round two. Salka taking a knee and up at nine and undefeated.